What's up, God? My name is Ashley Gillard, and I am the creator of the Master Manifestor Coaching Program. Before I get into the details of the program, I'd just like to explain who I am as a person so that you can understand what I offer to you and, and how my abilities can help you. Um, first off, I have clairvoyance and medium abilities. That means that I have a connection with spirits where I can receive messages and perceive those messages naturally. I also have medium abilities. I get messages and dreams from my ancestors and spirit guides who I refer to as spirit guides um, that I use to, you know, I mean, they relay messages. You know, I have family members and people who are not family come to me in dreams and I relay the message to the people that they're trying to relay the message to. But they also help me. They help me attune, attune to my gifts. They help me learn things that I need to learn in order for me to use my gifts to help others like Kabbalah, numerology, gematria, scripture, understanding of gods and, and religion and things of that sort and Christ. And I use my abilities um, to help others, but I also use them <laughs> to help myself. For example, before I created this program, I, I was like, you know, spirit, is this a lucrative opportunity? Is it worth my time? Um, should I should I do this? Should I start this program to help people manifest in business, help people manifest goals that they otherwise um, may have trouble manifesting? So I, I laid out a tarot spread. I do use the tarot cards and oracle cards and numerology and gematria, whatever I connect to, to relay the message. And, of, you know, and they told me, go for this. It's a lucrative business opportunity. You'll help people. Long-term lasting success. Do it. But I've also had times where I've asked my spirit guides, um, should I do something? And they told me to pump their brakes on it. So uh, this is definitely a powerful connection. I can ask anything. I've been nosy. And I've asked things that maybe... You know, I should mind my business on, like, you know, <laughs> how does this person feel about me? But, you know, it's a powerful connection. I use it responsibly, and I'm using it to help you manifest in business, help you manifest your goals. You know, we, we start these projects, or we, we wonder when we're starting a business or a project or starting a career, is this going to be the best for me? Or is this going to be worth my time and hard work? Or we might even be in a business project and we're working towards the manifestation of it and, you know, everything may not seem the way that we perceive them to be and maybe we want to quit. But spirit might say, no, keep going. You're almost there. Or spirit might say, try another try another method. You know, it's just this all-knowing power that I have access to leads me in my life every day, guides me and provides me with daily guidance. And I just want to do it for you so that when you're starting that project, you'll know. You'll get strategy. You'll get answers. You'll know if it's something that's going to be good for you or if, it's some, or if you should try something else. You know, we have these powers. We have the psychic abilities, whatever you want to call it, psychic. I call it spiritual connection. And um, some people use it irresponsibly, but I want to use mine for more life, more light, money, business, and I want to do with this I want to do the same for you. Okay, so let's get into the program. The program. What to expect. So, sorry, I'm a little silly too. What do you expect? So what I provide for you, let's talk about option one. In option one, you get bi-weekly strategic video and audio guidance. Not and or audio guidance. Some people might prefer. I do it in video. But if you would like for me to make an exception and provide you with audio guidance, I'll do that as well instead. So anyway, um, every two weeks, we'll start off with the initial call. You have an initial call with me and you will establish your intention. Again, I have manifestation. Um, you know, I know a lot of, you know, I've learned a lot of things in the spiritual journey and manifestation is one of them. So. I don't know exactly what spirit is telling me that you need. But anyway, the first step is we meet in a call and we establish your intention. So, well, you, this is just for one goal, you know, one step at a time. I, you know, when you try to do too much, spirit will tell you you're doing too much. So anyway, during this call, you'll tell me, hey, I want to start a t-shirt business called um, T-shirts. <laughs> and so I... Well, you know, I'll write that down and then I'll do the initial spread and get it to you on the day that you specify you want your bi-weekly guidance. So I'll, I'll seek the guidance from Spirit and I'll get that to you um, every two weeks. So if you say every other Monday you would like your video guidance, 
I provide you with strategy. I provide you with um, whatever you need to know that spirit says you need to know. I provide you with that. And I'll give you an example once I get down further too, because I did one for myself for this project. It gave me current situation. It gave me what it's going to be requiring for me to make this a success. It gave me the future impact and the effect that it has on my life. It gave me exit. It told me that it's going to be a time where I'm going to have to exit. It gave me um, advice on competition in the market. You just don't know. It's very powerful connection that I have. And um, yeah, and it basically it'll give you the information that you need um, at the time in your manifestation process. If you are in the second week or second month of your manifestation and you start having doubt, spirit can pick up on that energy. And spirit will tell me this time, this is what she needs to know or, or he needs to know in their manifestation process. Again, it's a power. It's just a power. I provide you, I use my power to connect with spirit to get you insight and clarity into this business opportunity or a goal or romance or whatever situation that you're doing and I help you manifest it. That my goal is to help you manifest it. You manifesting your goal is success for me. Like, wow, they did that. Now on to the next. So, you know, once you manifest that goal, let's get to, let me help you manifest another one. Because, you know, sometimes we don't have the answers. Spirit has the answers. And then once you connect to spirit, you have the answers too. And I just went off on a tangent. It's been six minutes in this video. I'm trying to make it very short. Um, so every two weeks, I provide you with video guidance, strategic guidance. For option two, for those who would like more detailed information, not only do I provide you with the video guidance, I also provide you with a written report and an action plan. As you can see on the um, website, I, I, told, I show you exactly what I do for... Um, Option number two, you know, I show you the action. I mean, I show you the video, the written report, but I also will get details into actions that you need to take to manifest it. I also provide that with video guidance as well as just not in writing. But if you want me to put it in writing and, you know, be business-like and give you a business report, I'll do that for you. I, I have a master's degree in HR. I have a bachelor's degree in business. I'll get that report to you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> An action plan, I'll set that up for you. And, um, but that's for those who would like that and who need that information in more detail or whatever for option two. Option three is for people with two goals. Now, if you're about it, like what they say when, you said, when we were little about it, about it. If you are, you're about that life and you want to put in the work towards two goals, that is a common mistake with people making business. They try to turn five things into business at one time but if you know that's something that you can do again this is only for two though this is only for two goals and maybe you have a, a goal in love and a goal in money maybe you have a goal in career and a goal in entrepreneurship maybe you have two different goals that you're trying to manifest at the same time so that's what option three is about i help you manifest those two different goals at the same time i provide you with the video guidance or audio whichever you prefer and i provide you with the written report and action plan for each Okay, so what, what is required for you? This program is for you if you have a goal that you would like to manifest. If, and if, I, if you believe in the power, if you don't believe what I'm saying is true and I don't have a power, you can click off this video right now. I don't have time for people like that. There's plenty of people who know this is real and I don't want to work with people who don't. So click off. But if you do and you know that this power is will, you want to get into whatever you want to call the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide, Spirit Guides, I don't care about your label, whatever you want to call it, then let's work. But you have to put in the work too. For example, when, when Spirit told me about this, you know, that this business opportunity was a, a lucrative one and a good idea, and I didn't, I have to put the work in it. If I just sat on it, then that's just blatantly causing more drama or causing hardship in my life that I otherwise should not have if I would have just listened to the all-knowing power that told me this is going to be good for you. So you have to take action. All right, so let me just give you an example of what um, a video guidance could be. Sorry, I just went blank. Coffee, that's what I need. Okay, so let me pull out my coaching. I do I do coaching on myself too because I mean 
I confer with spirit. I need to write it down for myself too and, and follow the plan and, and implement it as well. So I did a spread. I, I used the power of tarot and oracle cards in my perception and my intuition and my spirit connection to get a message from spirit in regards to this business. The first thing, the first card I got was the Knight of Pinnacle card. And I'm just going to briefly do this just so you can see kind of what the video would be like. But, you know, and you you already see the detailed report. But I just want to give you an idea of what the video would be like. I, I don't have to go through this whole thing. But I just want to show you because I've already talked too much. It's been 10 minutes. But anyway, so the first card I got was the Knight of Pinnacles. You know what? Before I get into the first card, I just want to give you the energy of the bottom of the deck, which is usually the energy of the reading. And that was the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles energy, the overall energy of the reading is enthusiasm. Go towards your goals and don't stop. Overcome obstacles. In fact, don't even look at the obstacles coming your way. Find balance in your projects. Create multiple things and find balance. Because I've also created the Master Manifesto Toolkit course for those who don't want um for those you know because i can only do this for a minimum amount of people but you know there's way more people that can buy the course and just learn the manifestation process they won't get detailed guidance like you they won't get you know monthly reports or a monthly or bi-weekly or monthly or bi-weekly reports or videos in regards to their particular situation but they also have the option of purchasing a reading so and if they need any guidance. So if you just want the course on manifestation, I'm creating that tool I've created. That's when I will provide that link shortly. Anyway, bottom of the deck energy, go towards your goals. Don't overcome any obstacles along the way. Don't let nothing stop you. And find balance. Balance multiple things. Find balance in your life. Find balance in multiple in projects. Find balance in um, everything. Be relentless. Go relentlessly towards your goals. So... That was an emphatic yes for me. So I was like, spirit is saying, this is good for me. That's just the bottom of the deck energy. Then we have the first card, the Knight of Pentacles. This project is going to require you to put in work, but it's going to create long-term success. So for me, this was saying, go ahead, start this project. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some work, but go ahead and towards, go ahead and do it because it's going to create long-term success then i got the justice card this told me again my connection and my intuition it tells me that this is going to have a long-term effect in my life and all things <laughs> sometimes you start a job or you start a business and you think oh this is going to line my pockets but not only does it line your pockets it connects you with soul honoring connection you meet your soulmate you, you move, you reclose. You know what I'm saying? This is what that's telling me. This is going to have a long-term effect on my life. Maybe it put me on a map. Somewhere. You know, you never know what it's going to do. But the spirit is telling me it's going to have a long-term effect on my life. All right. That's good, too. Then I got the hangman. And first of all, I need to get my nails done. And yes, I'm going to talk about my nails real quick because I just got them done like a week ago. And they've already grown so much. But my hair don't grow as fast as my nails. So that's so irritating. Anyway. I got the hangman. The hangman is saying a sacrifice is needed in order to progress forward. The time spent will not be wasted. So this is just telling me I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to sacrifice time. Meaning I'm going to have to put a lot of time and effort into this project. And if, you know, I meet my goal and I'm going to, I'm not going to specify my goal here with the number of clients that I want to help. Um, yeah, that is very time consuming, but I'm willing to use the time to manifest the long-term effect on my life and yours. Then I got the magician. I'm the alchemist, baby. I'm the maggot. I'm the master manifester. This is just telling me as above, so below, that my efforts are going to be matched by energy, by universe, by spirit. My my efforts, um, they're going to match my efforts. This is going to be a successful project because we're co I'm co-creating literally with spirit. I'm coming. To, I'm helping you in your business. I'm using my power to manifest. Why wouldn't the power help me? I'm using. We're working together. So I, that's what I'm. For me, that's what it's saying. It could be something different for you, which could be um, use your resources. You know, the magician card could also attune to using your resources to the best of your ability, or or um, using your resources to create other resources. But anyway, but to me, this is saying co-creation. 
Then we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is telling me about the environment. The environment is going to be competitive, but focus on your craft. It's competition and everything, but I've learned in the science of getting rich, collaboration over competition. There's no competition in the field that I'm supposed to be in. This is what I'm supposed to do, so I'm going to keep going and do it because, I mean, if I am the master manifester and you're not and you try to enter my field, I have no problem with you. you do what you got to do, but it's going to work for me. But basically, this is just saying focus on your craft, focus on yourself, and the environment is probably going to be quite competitive. Then you have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is just saying build wealth, put money to the side and allocate, you know, put my, use some money for yourself, but put it to the side because I'm going to need this for a long-term wealth or a long-term opportunity. Something's going to come forward um, that I'm going to use this money for. So put it to the side, I'm just spend it. That just also reaffirms that this is going to be lucrative for me. And I'm not bragging, but I'm just giving you an example of getting a spirit message in regards to a business opportunity that I have. And that I, don't, I wouldn't know this stuff without my connection. I would just be taking a shot. I wouldn't know how much time. I wouldn't know that it was lucrative. And the other idea, I wouldn't know that I shouldn't do it. It's a power. I'm very grateful for it, and I'm using it to help you and I. Then I have the Eight of Cups that's telling me that I'm going to need to create an exit strategy because opportunity is going to be, um, is going to get to a point where I'm going to be required to exit and follow new opportunities with the Ace of Pentacles as the next card. Yep. A new opportunity will come for me, will come, and I'm going to have to exit this. This doesn't mean it's going to happen next month or the month after that. I'm going to do this as long as possible. But in the long term, there will become a time why I have to exit this business. Every business should have an exit strategy. If it's perpetual, if something happens to you, it's going to this person. If if not, you're only doing it for a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle company. And once you meet a certain lifestyle, you're going to use this money to invest in something else. Whatever your business is, it must have an exit strategy. And they're telling me that create that exit strategy because there will be a time where another opportunity comes forward that you have to, you know, you have to move forward and take a leap back towards. And in fact, it's telling me this is preparing me for a new opportunity in the future. Then I just pulled a couple oracle cards. I pull oracle cards sometimes just to solidify the reading, just to get some energy, solidify the energy of the reading. And I got, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. That's just basically saying don't estimate yourself. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings results. Also, sometimes it depends on how I feel. Um, but on your readings, on your messages, I, I might look for when there will be a full moon in Virgo. That might be a time period um, clue as well. Like, oh, it's going to peak during this time. You know, it might be that. Or it could just be the energy of the Oracle card, which is have confidence. Don't, under don't underestimate yourself. You mean price your products properly. Don't underestimate the work it's going to require to put in. Pay attention to the details and hard work bring results. Then you have fire, full moon, and Aries. Full moon in Aries is alluding to a peak. This will peak on the product life cycle, service life cycle. You know, in the product service life cycle, you have the wave. This is going to peak. This is going to peak to the top of the wave. So, sometimes you start a business and it never goes, it never goes up. But this one will, this one will peak. Um... So anyway, I hope that helped you understand the guidance that I provide. I would also give you action steps. Like to me, I, you know, I provided it on some personal feedback on it on my the written one that I did. But, you know, I, I'll leave space for or give you action or advice on what you should do to implement the message. But you should also connect this, your business. You know it. So you should also connect with the message and know what to do as well. But I'll, I'll give you some of that just in case you're not in, as in tune as I. Um, yeah, so that's an example. And then I also have information on cancellation and delivery, which it will be delivered to your email. If you want to text to you, you will let me know when we speak on our initial call. And I'll do that. But I use YouTube. I do an unlisted video. 
so that only person that can see it is you and those that you share that link with. And I'll, I'll create and file on you so that I'll know all the links that I sent you in all the videos. And I'll kind of look at it, see if you're progressing. Just keeping an eye on your business, see if you're doing what you're supposed to do. Again, I have a limited amount of spaces, so I want to make sure that I'm actually helping people manifest and not just charging people for a service. With that being said, payment processes will be through PayPal. Um, invoice, invoice will be LA Gillard LLC. Um, my contact information is on there if you have any questions. Um, that's basically it. Um, if you would like, I offer refunds 100%, but I will not give you a refund after I do the work. Just because your video is sent Monday on the 1st, by that week before, your video will probably be in preparation or done. So I allow refunds up to a week prior to the next book billing cycle. If your billing cycle is the first, uh, the week before the first, seven days before the first, you that is cut off. So you need to make sure you have 21 days and every month to cancel towards the next billing cycle. So use those wisely. If this isn't working for you, it's okay. If it doesn't work for you, if you're not putting in the work, if you aren't prioritizing your goals and your dreams, I'm not, I am not judging you. I've been there before. Actually, I've set on this idea. You know, I, I, I manifested it, but I was looking at my web store and I was like, mm, I should have, I was talking about doing this months ago, but I have more knowledge now. So Anyway, everything happens for a reason. And if it's not your time to do something and you want a refund, just make sure you request it before I start working. Because if I've already started working, I'm not giving you a refund because I value my time more than I value um, I value my time over a lot of things. So <laughs> I value myself and my time. I was about to say something rude. I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude, so I'm not going to say it. But I value my time. And maybe other people don't value my time, but I do. So... If you request a refund after it's already done, it'll go towards the next billing cycle. I'll just cancel it for that. But as far as seven days prior to the next billing cycle, make sure you, um, you, you're you going to get your product because at that point, I've already started working. Um, but also, it's a monthly subscription. There is no half back either. So if I've already started on it, I've already started. It's for that entire month. And you'll get the video, the mid-month video as well. And then the next billing cycle, if you choose to refund or cancel it, then it'll be over. So, But hopefully you are manifesting. Hopefully you put the energy and time into it. Especially if Spirit told you it's going to be successful, it will be a mock. When I did this reading and I, was, and I saw how successful this will be, I put fire in my ass to get started. So hopefully you'll be the same way. You put that fire into your ass and you get started and you manifest and we go towards your next goal. If you have any questions, feel free to email me to contact me on my web store, on YouTube, wherever you're seeing this video. And I'll be happy to help you. I hope this explains to you in enough detail what this process is about, what this coaching program is about. And I will talk to you once you schedule, once you start your subscription and we schedule a call. Um, we'll go from there. I wish you love, I wish you light, blessings, abundance, and the power of manifestation, and the power of connection. Peace.